launching new research into the depths to discover more about ocean carbon. These scientists are part of the convex seascape survey, grabbing mud from the sea floor to analyze the tiny creatures within it and quantify how much carbon they can move and store. Of the 2,500 marine invertebrates in UK waters, only 10 have been studied in depth. This team hopes to change that. What we're trying to understand as a sort of wider question is the role that small marine animals that live in mud play in the flux of carbon between what's in the water and what's in the sediment. So we're probably only talking about a 10 to 15 centimetre of that benthic mud at the bottom of our oceans. But that's the biggest habitat on our planet and we really don't understand how important the animals that live in that sort of layer between the ocean and the mud are in moving carbon between those two habitats. 90% of the sea's biodiversity lives in this sediment. Creatures like the brittle starfish and the spoonworm. In their burrowing and building, some will remove carbon, others will release it. Best estimates are that coastal waters like these and the sea creatures that live in them could provide 6% of the carbon drawdown that's needed to slow the rise in global temperatures to 1.5 degrees. Now that's the same as closing all of the world's cement and chemical industries. This is first of its kind science, and back in the lab, the 19 different species they've found are studied individually, using fluorescent sediment to measure their activities and how they impact carbon levels. The next step is to identify how vulnerable they are to human activities. We have 13 partners, some in South Africa, in Argentina, South Georgia, British Columbia and the UK. And really, we're all working together to quantify and produce reliable scientific data to have a better understanding of how carbon is stored in our sea floors. The ocean has absorbed about a third of the carbon dioxide that humans have emitted into the atmosphere since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution. But there is no policy currently protecting carbon storage in the ocean. Once deeper benefits of the seascape are known, better protection can follow. Charlie Angela Al Jazeera, Cumbrae, Scotland.